there was a God. And Hugh Ross kept looking. And you know where he found that guy? He found that guy in the Bible. He had done all the scientific study. And then he linked it to God. It took a few more months of wrestling in Hugh Ross's life before he was willing to declare Jesus the Lord of his life. Today, Hugh Ross has degrees in physics and astronomy and two or three other long degrees. One from the University of British Columbia, one from the University of Toronto. Toronto. I knew I was going to say Tonto every time I went through this, I said it. He is director of something called, a group called Reasons to Believe. And that's an organization that publicizes the historical and scientific truths about the Bible. Dr. Ross says these words, As an astronomer, I have achieved my ultimate quest. My education led me to the stars. My faith led me beyond. Dr. Ross truly did search for knowledge, but what he found was truth, and it sent him home by another road. So this morning, the crash is gone. We'll see it again for Sunday and Advent next year, but we come to the manger once again with the wise men. And like the wise men, folks, we are told, we're not invited, we're told to go home by another road. We're invited to Bethlehem this morning. And Bethlehem has a nickname, like we used to be the city of good abode, Bethlehem was known as the house of bread. But they were told to leave by another road. Well, this morning, he has given to us here at the table bread and wine, sustenance for our journey, and he promises to give us whatever else we might need along the way. We're all different, and I love every one of y'all, and y'all are as different from me as I am from you, and we're different from each other, but we've learned we need each other. Well, I have no idea what problems you may have. I don't know if you're seeking anything in particular this morning. I don't know if there is a void somewhere in your life, and you don't know that about me. But I do know this. God is in this place. And God will meet us here where we are in our lives. And God offers to each of us, each one of us, whatever it is we need and whatever it is we're looking for. But here's the kicker. We have to go looking for God. Got to. So this morning, we've been to the table. And that really, if you think about it, in and of itself, is a journey in faith just like the wise men. But then we need to listen to God as we begin to get up and sing another hymn. Then we're going to sit down and we're going to have an induction and installing the officers. But eventually, we're going to walk out of here and we're instructed to go home on another road. And we're instructed to leave whatever it is that hurts inside of us. We, inside of us, we need to leave it. We need to leave the illness that eats at perhaps our hearts and our bodies. We need to leave the hurt and the pain that others have caused us over the years. We need to leave the feeling of guilt of things that we've done so many years ago we need to leave all of that behind. And we need to leave by another road. That's the road of forgiveness. That's the road of healing. We came in here by one road, looking, looking for something this morning. Now, we have to listen to God. 
Now we have to allow God to feed us. Now we have to be open to God's touch. So my prayer for each one of us, each one of us, is let us all start the new year on a new journey and let's leave by another road. We need to follow, not Google or Siri and that GPS. We need to follow God's GPS. You know what that is? That's God's perfect Son. And He'll take us where we need to be. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.